this is a problem looking for a uh, direction of this particular vector in a hexagonal closed packed cell it goes from the origin in the middle of the bottom plane up two-thirds right on the edge of this edge here so we want to uh, first put it down in three parameters u prime v prime and w prime and then translate it into the four parameter miller brave system when you work on the three parameter system the best thing to do is to just think about it in 2d first so we'll look at this plane looking down at it from up above Hopefully this is reasonable enough for you. So I've got my two vectors now. We don't worry about A3. We just want to deal with A1 and A2 for the moment. And the question is really how do we create uh, or get to the spot which coming down from this uh, 2D level is right here. using both of these vectors well in this case it's really really easy um, we don't have to do anything in a1 we just come down backwards in a2 one full unit vector of a and we're done this is a here that's a here and so on and we're done. So what have we accomplished? Where have we gone? So in A1 under U prime, we haven't gone anywhere, nowhere parallel to it. And in A2, we've gone back one. Okay, so we did the 2D portion of it. And last but not least is a th the uh, vertical direction in the Z direction here. Uh, we want to um, find the W prime and that's basically given two-thirds up so W prime is two-thirds the next step is to multiply through by a common denominator in this case the only fraction here is the two-thirds so we're going to multiply each of these by three so we put zero negative three and two if we're using a three parameter system, we simply enclose these in brackets. So we have zero, three bar two. Now I want to explain why we should put this into a four parameter system. According to this, it looks like there's zero A1 component to this vector, but that's not true. It's going somewhat in this direction. This would be true perhaps if it were perpendicular to A1, but it's not per perpendicular to A1. And so that should be reflected in our notation. So we're going to translate this instead into the Miller Brave four parameter system. So uh, that requires the use of these formulas U equals one third. 2u prime minus v prime and v equals one third to v prime minus u prime t equals negative u plus v notice this is u and v not u prime or v prime. So we use these parameters over here, not the u prime or the v prime. And finally, w is equal to w prime. 
So I'll fill these in. We have one third, two times zero minus a negative one. One third times two times zero, which is zero, minus a negative one. So this is all one times one third equals one third. This is one third times two times negative one minus zero equals, well, this in here is negative two, so this is all going to be negative two thirds. And this here, we'll use these values, negative one third minus two thirds. Okay, one third minus two thirds is negative one third. A negative negative one third would be a positive one third. And then here's the easy part. W equals W prime, and that is two thirds. Okay, now uh, we have our basic setup here uh, for U, V, T, and W. And U is one third, V is negative two thirds, T is one third, and W is two thirds. Our next step is to multiply three by a common denominator, obviously three. So this becomes one, negative two, one, two. Then to put it in proper notation, we end up with one, two bar, one, two, and put it in brackets. Now, going back to check, I'm going to use this set here because this will work for my one cell that I have. I'm going to start at zero and we're going to go one third along this axis. And then I'm going to do go backwards two thirds parallel to the A2 axis. So these lines here are all parallel to A2. Okay, well, you draw that a little better, but. So these lines right here are parallel to A2. So I'm going to go backwards two thirds, one, two, in A2. And then I'm going to go forward one third for the T parameter. Uh, so it's going forward one third in the A3 direction. So it's positive, so I'm going to the left. Yes, A3 is positive to the left. And then 2 thirds up for the W gets me right to the point that I want to be, right up there. So the four parameter method shows that there are aspects of this uh, vector that are uh, part of each one of these vectors, a1, a2, a3, and z. Each one of those axes has some form of projection onto those vectors. Uh, if we use the three-parameter system here with a zero, that mistakenly makes us think that there's no a1 component, but there is.